If a face could lost a thousand chills, then where am I to go? There's no one home but you. You're all that's left me to. And when Hey guys, it is Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. I have the perfect little love ballad. For, I've been singing it to my dog all morning. Got a, got, a, got a weird household over here, but that's what's been going on. We're going to learn how to do If by Bread. Now, if you've never heard of Bread, um, they got some great songs. You probably can recognize some of their songs. They got some massive hits in the 70s, this being one of them. This is absolutely a perfect song so um it's got a great little finger picking part to it and just amazing vocal melodies um just very 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 cool so check it out if you haven't heard it and, and learn it it's a, it's a great little tune all right now before i get into it please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already ring the notification bell so you know we see the video you can kind of like and comment the lesson it kind of really helps me out here on youtube and if you really want to support what i do um online with all, all these guitar lessons and really want to get something even more out of it for yourself, join my Guitar Academy. You're going to see a link to that in the description below. Yeah, the Academy has all my courses. You get complete access to all of them with just one subscription. You get to also kind of attend the live streams that I do every weekend for just Academy members. So you can ask me questions in real time. And um, you get personalized support from me beyond that. So please uh, click that link. Got everything from, from complete beginners to advanced guitar players there. So check it out. All right, so let's jump into this. I'm in standard tuning, so get to bring out my Faith Blood Moon acoustic here, which is nice. All right, so let's do, um, this thing is it's very consistent picking pattern, which is going to make it kind of a quick thing to get through. Um, now, um, I'm going to show you the chords first, uh, just just the chord shapes, this little intro riff that goes through. This, The intro is also the verse of the song. And um, then it gets to that chorus, which is just beautiful. Um, but anyway, so let me just take you through the chords, and then I'll take you through the picking pattern, because it's the same picking pattern on each chord. So let's just start with the chords first. So we'll just strum them. So this first one's gonna have an open A string, then the seventh fret there on the, the D string, then the um, sixth fret there on the G. Then you can have the open B and the open uh, high E string. All right. So the next chord we're going to do is kind of still have the open A. You're going to basically just be playing uh, well, until we get down to here, just the, the D and the G string and then having the open strings ringing around it. So at the first chord, move the note on the D string down to the sixth fret and the note on the G string down to the fourth fret. So you get a little bit different fingerings for that. So that still has the open A and the open B and the high E, but now you're at the sixth fret on the D and fourth fret on the G. Then all we're gonna do is take the note on the D string and move it down to the fifth fret. And so that's, that fourth fret on the G is gonna stay the same. And the open A, B, and the high E stay the same too. So you hear this. So that's just going for the whole part. Now from here, you're gonna go to the fourth fret there on the D and the second fret there on the G. So it just, and once again, the open A, open B, open high E around it. Now here we're gonna change it up a little bit. I, I like to play it like this. So from this chord, I'm going to move down to the third fret there with my ring finger on the D string, then play the second fret there on the G, and this one's going to be three notes we're going to be holding down, third note there on the B as, as well, third fret, sorry. So that's still the open A and the open high E, but third fret on the D, second on the G, third on the B. 
And then from there, we're gonna go to a regular e, A major, which is typically the way I play it in A major. Uh, when you see David Gates, who's the singer, songwriter, and the guy you'll, you'll see if you see live videos, he looks like he's doing this, <laughs> he's playing it like this. He's, he's barring his, his uh, middle finger, which works for him, not for me so much. So I'm gonna play it like that. And when you already have an A major, people play it it's just a million different ways. So <clears throat> anyway, uh, I'm gonna play it like this. So we have this so far. All right, and then we're gonna switch over to the top four strings. We'll get to the picking pattern in a second. Very nice chord, open D string, second fret there on the G, open B, first fret on the high E. And then we're gonna get to an, an E7 to end it. So he, he will hit the open E string in here, but the chord itself that you're gonna hold is the second fret there on the, the D, first fret on the G, third fret on the B, open high E. All right, so we're gonna pick across those chords now. So what's the picking pattern? Now, you can. there's a different ways that you can, you can pick this. Now, it looks like when I see any live videos, what he's doing is he's picking, he's trying to get the open A and that string that has the chromatic line on it. He does it with both of those, it catches them with his thumb. So he's strumming, uh, he's kind of hitting using his thumb to strum across the A and the D string each time. All right, and then the rest of the pattern is very consistent. He's just gonna play. So that's gonna be. So that's just hitting those two strings with the thumb. And then you're gonna pick the B string to the G string, then the high E to the B, to the G, and then the high E to the B. So here it is. Uh, now you probably notice a lot of times when I was playing, I kind of move over after that. I just, since I'm right here with my thumb, I, I did the picking pattern with those fingers, which is just kind of the same string, but I'm just using the index thumb and uh, middle to play all the notes up so, because that just puts me right there. All right, so it's just taking that picking pattern there that we have. I'm sorry. And just taking it across all those chords. Wonderful how our plan comes together. So it's really nice. So that same picket pattern done on each chord. And when we move over to this right here, you have to move, uh, the picking pattern is a little bit different. It's, well, it's actually, it's basically instead of strumming two strings, you're just gonna hit the open D string with the thumb. And then the picking pattern is the same. From there. And then we're gonna go to the ending chord which is gonna be the open E, then the second fret on the, uh, it's an E7 chord. Um, open E, second fret there on the uh, D string, first fret on the G, third fret there on the B, and then open high E string. And you're gonna pause there. And that's the intro, and then he basically goes through that exact same progression for the verse. If a picture paints a thousand words, then why can't I paint you? The words will never show the you I've come to know. Now on this, when he's in the middle, when he's actually doing the verse, instead of pausing on that E7, when you get to the high E string, just kind of pick back down kind of back down to B and then G. All the way back down to the D maybe. And then just go back and start the thing again. All right, 
so that's basically that progression done. I played it a lot faster than the actual recording there. Um, and then we get to the chorus, which is absolutely beautiful. It looks like this. And when the verse all right so now when you hear the actual recording here it sounds like there's also a so you can add you can do it either way now when he plays it live he's playing here you hear this on the recording too you hear this little chromatic thing but you also hear a lower maybe it's just dubbed um, but so either one, I'll show you how to play both. But um, we basically have this F sharp minor. So we're going to start with a bar just across three strings, the high E string, um, B and the G at the second fret. And then you're going to add the fourth fret there on the D. All right, so we have that little F sharp minor. Now the picking pattern, pretty similar. So it's just that fourth fret, a uh, fourth, uh, the D string for the thumb, then the B, G, high E, B, G, high E, B. So it's the thing that we did on that back chord uh, on the, in the, in, in the verse. So basically that pattern. And then take the note on the D string and move it down one fret and keep everything else the same. lift up that note so now you move the note on the D string down one more fret so it's just second fret across top four strings same picking pattern so and when life is running dry and then uh, at the end of that line it goes to a, so that's going to be open D second fret on the G open B Second fret on the high E string, same picking pattern. So all together. And when my life is running dry, then it gets a really cool. Alright, so basically gets a very interesting um, harmonic sequence here. So we have this, so after this, that part of the chord right there, you're gonna go, go to just simply just one note and all you gotta hold is the fourth fret there on the A string. You pick that with your thumb and then... Now I, I will say this, the kind of, when you see this played the second time through, same chords, you might just mix up the picking pattern a little bit. I'm not gonna get too much in the, the details there. It's kind of the first time you see him play it and then you can got do something exactly like that the second time or a little variation, doesn't really matter, but um, it's pretty close. So we have this fourth fret on the A and then the same picking pattern pretty much before, the B to the G, high E, B, G, and then here, he just stops on the high E instead of going high E to B like before. And then we have this, So that's going to be a bar at the second fret, this is F sharp 7. So we have a bar at the second fret, full bar, and then the third fret there on the G. So what you'll do here is just use your thumb, hit the uh, low E string there, then the D string, and then pluck the with your index finger the G. And then from there, we just go up top which is the high E, B, G, then high E, B. So it is. All right, then we're gonna take this over. So all you gotta do here is keep the bar, but just move that uh, finger on the G string from the third fret over to the third fret on the B. And then here, 
Now this is similar to the previous picking pattern, uh, uh, the, the normal picking pattern. So the first note is gonna be, once you move that finger over, you're gonna pick the A string there, which is being held at the second fret, right? So we have that, and then you're gonna pick B, G, high E, B, G, high E, B. So the normal pattern. So, And then we're going to end it with that E7, which is like the end of the verse. All right, so all together for the uh, chorus. And when to the verse. So it goes through that whole verse again, um, and then that whole chorus again, and then coming out of that last chorus, it just kind of holds that note. Um, so we basically repeat exactly everything we did again, and then there's this little ending that he's doing that little high note off of. And that is just a little three, uh, four chord sequence. Uh, so it's pretty similar, it looks like this though. So it's using uh, most of the chords, one chord is a new chord in there um, out of the verse. So look at the chords real quick because the picking pattern is the same as before. So that same opening chord that with the 7th um, fret on the D, 6th on the G, open A, B, I e. Now from there, what we're going to do is get to a new chord. We're going to come down here to the 4th fret on the D, 4th fret on the G, and 3rd fret there on the B. So we still have the open high E and the open A. And then that same chord that happened before, which is that open A, 3rd fret there on the D, Second on the G, third on the B, open high E. And then that's gonna to resolve to an actual, just an A major, strummed without the picking pattern. So the first three chords have that uh, picking pattern on it. And then just resolve it to an A, just gonna strum with your thumb. And that is about it. It is a uh, an absolutely perfectly beautiful song. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a it was a fun one to work out, and I will see you guys again soon for guitarsin365.com.